So I got a package today. It has unlimited cards. I've been waiting a long time to open this today because my neighbors are kind of assholes and they just are really loud all the time. So you probably know how that is. I'm gonna open it from the bottom. I'm not sure if uh, that's good, but you can see like the UPS is did not do a great job sending it. Now you might ask, what could this possibly be? Yada yada. Um, it supposedly is about thirteen thousand dollars in magic cards. I thought it would be express mailed, but uh, it's not. So let's go ahead and open it. Uh, the other side is obviously the side with the the addresses on it, and I don't want and the tracking and so on, which then you could figure out the address. Okay. It should be a lot of unlimited stuff. Uh, there we go, there it is open. It is packaged pretty nicely. There's newspaper and a BCW storage. So it looks like you could open it this way. Um, it's a lot, it's, it's something. I actually have this exact box. Here's a box, here's a storage count. Oh, so that's a little surprising. I wasn't expecting to see this but yep this is ultimate masters edition and i think that's it for the box so let me double check the box i've been very excited to open this package because it's the type of magic cards i absolutely love buying and we do let me see if there's a note there doesn't seem to be any note but it is well packaged and let's go ahead and take a look so it should have unlimited dual lands in it. Okay, so here we have some, uh, I guess this is bulk. I don't know what, oh, this is probably filler. Um, oh, okay, so we're gonna get to the good stuff. I actually don't know what's in it. Oh, wow, this is a reserve list card. I'm not sure if uh, that card is worth any money. These cards, I'm pretty sure are not worth money. Land grant, false seek. There's, you know, Gemstone Cavern, a uh, little bit. So I do know that there's some damage and interestingly enough, there is actually a unlimited volcanic island, which could be fake. And I'm going to check and decide if that is the case. It seems to be like a, a deck of some type. Um, it's not a deck. Uh, actually, it could be a deck. Oh, wow, yeah, there is a lot of value in these cards. Um, well, at least in the first few cards I was looking at, <laughs> there was a lot of value. And I actually have a foil of these. So Sensei's top, Green Sun Z. This does look like a deck of some type. I don't know if it's like a partial EDH deck. Um, I don't know what it is. Um. There's, I mean, it's not, it's not bad. There's some good stuff like Titania. I don't know if that's been reprinted recently, but uh, it's good stuff. There's some uh, shot. There's some fetch lands. Uh, fetch lands are being reprinted, I believe, very soon. Uh, yeah, this looks like a deck. I don't know if this is just a casual deck or something like that. He said that he wasn't really a player. He just liked collecting. Okay, so here, I don't know which ones uh, to open, but yeah, they've been. They've been, uh, let me just go like this, dump them all out. Whew, I'm expecting a whole revised set. Uh, I think this is the revised set. Uh, so the cards that we wanna see is wheel. So there should be a complete revised set. Here's Doppelganger and uh, Bodyguard, but there are no dual lands in a revised set, which means the other box is unlimited. Oh, here's wheel. So a wheel we're gonna take out and take, a wheel looks great. Actually, this whole set looks really good. So uh, Rafa got, the wheel looks great and wheel was probably the most expensive. So a lot of these uh, revised commons are not as expensive as you would think they would be worth. Uh, yeah, that's uh, no, also on the reserve list. These two are on the reserve list. Um, they got to me safe and it is revised. It's a whole set. It's, I, I believe this is a complete set of revised. I now am the happy owner 
Okay, so beyond wheel, what are we looking at? Demonic? Well, there's Birds of Paradise right there. That's another big card. Birds is going up like crazy. So, what are we looking for? There's Meek Stone. Mind Twist. So I didn't see Demonic Tutor yet, but uh, there's Fork. Fork also on the reserve list. This is actually a, wow, okay. Um, this is actually a beautiful collection. I don't know if it's, it's organized in any way, but of uh, Revised. And again, Revised is a set that you gotta get your hands on right now. Otherwise, it's goodbye. And unfortunately, this set, oh, here's Copy Artifact. That's not a big one. So that's another really big one. Copy Artifact. It's a beautiful set. Um, and I think, I mean, basically we can assume Demonic is in it. I didn't see Demonic, but uh, I, I think we probably passed Demonic. Anyway, let's get to the exciting stuff. This is the Uber Duber stuff, okay? The prices on this is probably insane, and I, I am very excited to look at the Alpha, or the uh, Unlimited Volcanic Island. Uh, let me take these cards out to provide some space. These just seem to be uh, random cards. I know we're way into the video and you have not seen any, <laughs> we have not seen any unlimited cards. Yeah, these just seem to be kind of random Ixalan cards. Let's go see if uh, the Ixalan cards are worth anything. I probably would do a better video summarizing. I just want to do a video on camera, opening the box and that, that way the uh, person is a subscriber, they watch it and there's nothing too missed. I don't think there's anything too big on this one. I think these are just commons. So, where are we gonna be? Oh, Stoneforge Mystic. You know, one of my OC cards. Wheel. Force of Will. Uh, not a playset. No, a playset. Yeah, the playset was on camera. Blood Moon Foil. Oh, this is Italian. I thought this was Legends. Okay, so that's good that I got that. Natural Order, Glimpse of Nature, Vampanic uh, Tutor. Is there a card behind it? There's a card in the sleeve. I'm really gonna just take my time. There's two natural orders in the sleeve. So, okay, so I, I have to actually unsleeve it all because I don't know. And I, I don't, I, he never, he didn't even give me a list. He just gave me a photo. Ooh, look at this one. Ew, big yikes. Uh, Coco. I mean, doubly seizing, no rod is great. Time spiral is great. Yog will. Here is a Savannah. Oh, this underground, this uh, underworld dreams, I didn't realize was. There's a bunch of fetch lands. Org bog, reprinted. Damnation, I think, was reprinted. Lots of reprints. This token, I think, is worth a bunch. Chrome Mox, Blood Moon, and another, another Blood Moon. So that looks like more along the lines of what I was looking to buy. Obviously, Savannah, Savannah, Vanna. Oh, and then uh, four pro a place that, oh, here it is. No, no, we're, we're, this is right. This is the uh, Legends Concord, which is quite a bit of money and four dark depths. And then uh, we have unlimited. I, uh, will, I will go ahead and make a pile here of what I think is the mo most uh, expensive cards. I do have a understanding of what was in this pile. A Sarah Angel was pretty good. Mana Vault Unlimited is pretty good. Lightning Bolts. Brain Geyser is surprisingly a very valuable card nowadays. It is on the reserve list. I was very surprised to see its price be what it is. Because I'm going to. Okay, here we go. Here's the real deal. Here's the real stuff. Let me put that aside. So the one thing that I need to look at is the Volcanic Island. He said that it is glossy, but he, it does feel heavy. I don't know, it does feel kind of weird, but it doesn't feel like a fake fake. It just feels like and obviously there's roller things here. I don't know, I, I think it checks out, I, I don't know. Let me take out the, um, 
this one feels real. This feels too waxy. It is waxy. Um, you can't even see what's going on. It feels thicker. Like it feels like someone glued it in place. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a whole video on this card because um, this was a known deal where he had bought it from a friend and then, you know, upon buying from a friend, he instantly kind of regretted it and realized that maybe something is wrong. But, um, God, it would be such a shame. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, like, yeah, when you feel this versus this, it's a total night and day. I'm going to test this, obviously, because it's very glossy. It's, like, very plasticky. Like, you, like, if I put this in a pile of unlimited, you would immediately feel that, like, this is different. And this is what he was talking. He was a very honest guy from Chicago. Like, yeah, you can, I mean, there is, like, light and day. So, I don't know volcanic, but at the same time, I don't know why it has a roller sticker on it. I don't know. It looks good, and supposedly it passed the light test and the loop test, and I don't know. I don't know if organics all kind of look like this. I mean, I'm going to make a whole nother video on just organic, um, but it, it feels significantly different from this, and feels like somewhat different from the other lands. So obviously, the lands. Um, yeah, so like it feels so different from the other lands. So we got uh, Unlimited Savannah, Unlimited Bayou. The conditioning is going to, I'm gonna make a whole nother video on conditioning. And I know condition. no one makes videos on conditioning because no one wants to get flamed because half of the people say, oh, this is not in good condition. And half the people say this is an excellent condition on the same card. Everyone is has their own opinion on condition, uh, of course. Wow, this is a beautiful card. Like at this point in time, you're not never going to see these again. Like once they, oh, this is revised. Huh, how did this, okay, so this is a revised Taiga. I mean, the other ones were unlimited, yes. Um, wow, okay, so that kind of snuck into that pile. Um, yeah, um, these other ones, I'm pretty sure are legit. Here's a Tundra, jeez, the beauty, look, the Tundra is beautiful. The Tundra is just stunning. Not that you can look at the tundra, but, uh, and then here is a volcanic sea. I'm, I'm just gonna make another quick video. Like I'm not going to spend too much time in this video. Yeah, there, there is a significant difference in the, it's much darker than the rest as well. Now Unlimited is darker than Revised. Obviously that's the big difference between the two besides the card text chains and some of the minor changes, but. All right, let me show you some of the cool stuff. Um, so ring, so ring, so ring. Wrath of God, Wrath of God, Vampires, Clone, Word of Command is quite a bit of money. I'm gonna pull out the ones that I think are worth quite a bit. Like over a hundred bucks. Yeah, I think Mana, I think Monolith maybe. Steel Artifact, um, Disrupting Scepter, beautiful collection. Mana Vault for sure is worth over a hundred. There's no doubt in my mind that card's over 100. Maybe Zombie Master, I don't know. Um, all right, let's continue to look at Revised. Whew. It's a Revised Dark Rit. Uh, hypnotic, Brain Geyser, Wheel. Wheel is always good. I need to really pull out the collection and see what he has in terms of Sinkho. Oh, here's my uh, baby Demonics. These Demonics are unlimited. I should check to make sure they're all unlimited. Um, it's a beautiful, and here's more so rings from unlimited. Uh, classics never go out of style. It's like T Swift says, classics never go out of style. Uh, here are more unlimited cards. Um, ooh, Crusade, bad, bad. Imagine playing Crusade now. Ooh, Shivion Dragon, this card has spiked to the moon and back. Here is a free copy artifacts, and I have another one, so I have a play set of those in Unlimited. Fork. Fork has really price exploded recently. Crusade. Berserk is probably expensive, I don't know, got reprinted. Here are some reserve list cards. Birds, Birds of Paradise. Ooh, look at that bird. Word of Command again. Uh, I see Brain Geyser, 
Is Wrath of God worth that much money? I don't know. Another Sarah Angel, another Icy, another, um, I mean, it's it's good stuff. Whew. Okay, so I got everything. The, the reason I wanted to make this video was I just want to record the opening. I probably will digest it a little bit uh, more. Obviously, the big value cards are um, the dual lands, the wheel of fortunes, the unlimited cards. Uh, the grading is going to really make a big difference on those cards, uh, especially the duels. And yeah, I'm just happy to get this collection. It's not going to come cheap, and we actually haven't negotiated a price. As of the recording of this video, I don't actually know what I'm going to pay him, and he doesn't know what he's going to get. Um, I do love this collection very much, and I cannot imagine, um, I cannot imagine, you know, letting this collection go back to its owner uh, without me buying it. And that would be the case if I don't make a good enough offer. It's a really, I mean, unlimited is very hard to come by. I tell you, it's like impossible. I have not seen an unlimited collection or something of this era. You know, obviously alpha beta for months on months, and uh, this is the first one, and it's a really good one. Hi guys.